Alexa, turn off desktop sleep. Alexa, turn off desktop monitor. And that's the part that's really shitty because it's going to freeze as soon as I turn off my laptop screen. Alexa, turn off laptop monitor. Oh, cool. Looks like maybe it didn't. Alexa, turn on desktop computer. Alexa, turn on desktop monitor. Oh, we lost the screen. Whoops. There we go. Back on. Cool. All right. So that was just an example that I wanted to show you of what I've been able to do with um, Alexa and my uh, Trigger CMD application that I have. I've got it right here. And if you haven't tried Trigger CMD, I definitely recommend it. It's really cool. Um, and you can set up all kinds of neat little scripts and stuff like that to um, play with it and make it do all kinds of things. You can see I have I have two laptops on here and the reason why is because my laptop that I'm on right now recording this has both Windows and it has uh, Ubuntu Linux Linux on it. And so <clears throat> I can't share it across because one of them's using um, the regular command prompt, you know, CMD, this guy right here. And then the other one's using bash scripting <clears throat> and it's set up a little bit differently. Excuse me pause this for a second so I'm not hacking. Yeah, so I've got a few things on here. Um, this is my Raspberry Pi. I have it running as a server. For anybody who doesn't know what a Raspberry Pi is, definitely check it out. It's pretty cool. Um, it's just a little tiny device and basically it's like a little computer that has Linux running on it, a version of Linux called um, it's Raspbian. It's the uh, operating system that's meant for a Raspberry Pi, but in it, uh, Trigger CMD also has uh, integrations with that Raspberry Pi and that operating system, which is really cool because what it does effectively is <clears throat> you're simply just setting up little scripts to run. And so in here, I've got Wake Up Desktop. You can see it right here. And it's just a simple, um, basically a simple uh, script that I have that basically is using Wake on LAN. And so this is just running from my laptop here because I was testing it out but if I go back over here to my uh, Raspberry Pi you see I've got la laptop wake and then I've got wake now these aren't the best naming conventions I probably could have came up with better names but I renamed them when I had set up the smart things trigger and um, on Alexa when I had set up uh, the uh, the group setting for what I wanted to name the trigger so <clears throat> essentially like for instance let's say, I don't know, turn off monitor, like, simple as this, you can look up command prompts, um, commands to actually see what kind of commands to feed into it. Um, now in here, I'm not sure if it's actually going to show the command. Let's see here. Oh, there we go. Enable safe mode, command prompt. Where is it? Come on now. Got something down here. That's not it. Safe boot. We don't want that. That's a command right there. Um, but let's see here. There's got to be one here. There we go. Looks like here's a shortcut somebody made. But there's all kinds of neat little commands you can put either in like a batch script or just straight up a command that can be run directly from the command prompt. Um, but there's all kinds, the point of this is, is you can get all kinds of commands to do things with your computer, open the Internet Explorer, to pause a video, to restart your computer, to update Linux, to do all kinds of things, close a window, anything you can think of. And basically what I have is I have these commands that are native on basically they are on the desktop or my laptop that will make it go to sleep 
and then basically I have my Raspberry Pi that is waking them up because when they're asleep they can't wake themselves up and you send like a little magic packet to actually wake them up so it's really cool because if you go to the forums for Trigger CMD it's a really cheap service I think it's like I don't know like a dollar a month or something like that it's not expensive at all it's it's super cheap um, and totally worth it if you want to integrate you know and do some really cool things with your computer but in here there's there's a way to set up like a smart things virtual switch there it is right there and he's got all the steps in here Russ does really good guy um, and he made the uh, it's like a groovy script for smart things so you can set up a virtual switch in smart things that then will integrate with trigger CMD to where you can take whatever commands and triggers you've made on your computer that I just showed you like the wake up or the go to sleep and then what you can do is you can translate it into smart things language to where smart things can then run that trigger because it's using your local network to communicate with your um, uh, your your Raspberry Pi or your your desktops actually it's using um, I believe it's using Amazon and it's using some cloud servers to actually um, integrate with like your smart things hub and not the ver not the local but don't quote me on that um, but in here it gives you all the steps and I also made a video so check out that video if you're interested to see how to do that the video wasn't that great because I made it right after I had initially set up the virtual switch and I was using like these commands that weren't very um, they were very canned not out of the box ready to go and it was kind of like tell trigger CMD to turn off desktop from desktop and it wasn't very practical and I didn't realize at the time well once you set up the smart thing switch and you go to Alexa and you hit discover so when you go in here after you've set up the smart thing switch and you go into smart home and you go to devices and you go down to the bottom here and you hit discover it will discover it will pick up and recognize that smart thing switch that you've made so if I go in here and I go to wake you see here it's a smart things device here's the the wake that I was just showing you from my Raspberry Pi command that I set up and then this one turns off my laptop screen and then this one locks my laptop this one puts my laptop to sleep so really cool things you can do and I just wanted to share that because I have a little bit better of an integration this time around but check out trigger CMD and then if you have smart things and Alexa it's not very hard to set it all up um, and you can get really creative with it and do some really cool things so it's a lot easier than playing around with you know IFTTT and then trying to set it up that way especially if there's some update or change in something then it could really make a lot of troubleshooting and, and just be a headache for you so it's a really simple integration and I just wanted to share it so enjoy and I hope you enjoyed the video go ahead and like it and subscribe for more content and feel free to comment if you have any requests on anything you want to see on how to set up thanks for watching